get ready with me while I tell you how we ended up in Arcata, California. Stuck. I should have been waking up in a campground, in a cabin, in the redwoods. Amazing. At a two night reservation. We've already missed two nights. It is a 12 hour drive, 11 hours and 40 minutes if we're being specific without any stops. Started the trip knowing that we may not make it all the way. We called the campground and they said, no matter what, we don't cancel your itinerary. So no matter when you get in, even if it's 1 a.m. I said, I got you. That sounds amazing. Barked on this trip. This cabin only has bunks, no bathroom. You have to walk to everything, but you're in the middle of the redwoods. I was very excited to get a cabin for two nights. Eight hours in and the kids are miserable. And we stop and we said, okay, we're gonna miss one of our nights. Still be able to enjoy it the following day. So have no fear. Primo. The next morning we wake up, we pack our bags and we're like, next stop, redwoods. We're about an hour away in a city called Arcata, and we hear a beeping in the car. Like, what's that beeping sound? He looks down at the dash, he's driving. The thermometer is on H, going H, 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 H. It's hot. So I'm like, oh my goodness, let's pull over. I've never seen it that hot. Let's pull over and wait 15 minutes. I actually had to like Google it. Like, what do you do? I don't want the car to overheat. Sat for 15 minutes. It's kind of scary because we're on the side of the highway and you know, everything's zooming by. Recover from that. We went to the first Shell oil change here and it is just a shell. It's not an oil change. You can buy oil, but it's not an oil change. This is a big city, but it's not a big city. It's like 26,000 people here. To the next place, what were they? They were closed. <laughs> Our car is currently smoking, and I was like, maybe we just need to call a tow truck. Let's think about this. So we put it in park again. Wait, you didn't have that okay, let's go to this place called Joe's. Joe, drive to Joe. Drove to Joe, and lo and behold, that is where our car is. They were literally, physically leaving the auto body. Shutting the door. They were leaving the auto body, and we said, please, like, please, we don't know what to do. Can you please check out this car? I had put fluid in it at that first gas station where you can buy your fluid. And yeah, it was pretty bone dry, but lo and behold, we have a leak. We have a leak. What did the mechanic tell us? You have a leak. Oh, thank you. What did he then say? Oh, uh, I gotta see if I can find the part. Oh, sweet. What did he say then? Well, everything's closed today, so you're gonna have to come back tomorrow and you can leave your car here. Cool, how, how, how are we gonna do that with these guys and our luggage and everything? So I found this hotel, <laughs> 0.4 of a mile, so a little under a half mile to walk to. Look, I know we can do this. We have two Razor scooters, put the kids on them, lock, lock a backpack on Grayson. <laughs> I'll make sure they have like an opening and we're gonna go to this hotel. It's called Hotel Arcata. Apparently it's a very historic hotel, it's slightly creepy. It looks extremely old. I would say circa 1920, maybe circa 1930. That's where we are so far. What's next for the first time? I don't know. I don't know what's next. Are they gonna find the part today? Are we gonna be able to drive like anywhere? If they don't find the part, are we gonna stay in this hotel? They're fully booked today. Asked for a late, re a late checkout and he said, um, we're fully booked today so we won't be able to give you a late checkout. This is the way adventures are made. Felt like a Christmas vacation kind of thing. I don't know if you remember when his car broke down and he's like talking to the dude. He's like, yeah, we got a part for that. How much money do you have? It kind of felt like that here. Did I just make sense or did I just ramble? I don't know. When we got to the hotel, the, ho the guy said, oh, you have five guests. Oh, we only have room for a suite if you have five guests. I was like, honestly, I want the cheapest possible. We don't need a suite. He's like, It's all that we have. All we have are sweets. Did you? Or did you just say that when I said, there are five of us? You know what I mean? I just went along with it and I was like, okay, let me see this suite. There's no fridge in this suite. There's one bathroom. There are two beds. It is basically a regular room that has a wall in between it separating beds. That's it. I'll give y'all a tour if you want. At 11 o'clock, we have a hard checkout. Though the mechanic said he doesn't 
get in until 9 a.m. which means he's been in for 30 minutes now <laughs> probably gonna have to go to the dealer just to get the part if he goes to the dealer to get the part then that's gonna take a while he, he said he'll have to drive down to a city called Eureka aka not this city overall it is really pretty it is like San Diego had a baby with Austin it's kind of crunchy it's kind of awesome I like it we'll let you know how the rest of the day goes the redwoods would have to be for another day we are about 10 hours away from home so it's not like I can say hey uncle born come and pick us up the adventure continues these adventures scare me and both excite me because I truly do not know how we're gonna get home and yet I'm excited for the adventure <laughs>